Fear crawler here. Welcome to the. Oh, I seem to have eaten some bad tacos last night, so. Oh, we're just gonna get right into the video. Today I cut off communication with my best friend. Today I completely severed ties with him. I honestly think that this was for the best. He really hadn't been that great of a friend for a number of years now. Today just happened to be the day that I finally realized that. We were practically inseparable since the ninth grade. We both had a study hall together and it was his knack for hiding X-Men comic books inside his textbooks and snacks inside his backpack that immediately garnered my admiration. He was the coolest person in the room, and the first time he and I talked, we spent the entire study period discussing various story arcs from our favorite comics. By that summer, we were hanging out almost daily. After our senior year, we both planned to take a year off before starting college. We both got a job at the same pizza place doing everything from pizza making and counter duties to driving delivery. It was on one of these deliveries that my best friend met his current girlfriend. She didn't have enough cash to tip him for the delivery, but because she found him attractive, he ended up with her number instead. After that day, I became the third wheel in everything we did. Every movie we saw, every restaurant we went to, every single time he came to my place to visit, she was always in tow. He and I never did any of the things we enjoyed unless there was something she enjoyed too which was very infrequent. She hated comic books and action films, so that meant no going to conventions and only watching romantic comedies. She was also into organic food, so no more fast food when we hung out. Just all this weird healthy garbage with names I couldn't even pronounce. I wanted to convince myself that he was just going along with all of it to make her happy, but I just wasn't sure after a while. He was so different around her and we could never hang out just the two of us. I felt like I was losing my best friend. I put up with this for three more years, but today was my breaking point. It was his 21st birthday today and I surprised him with a rock climbing trip. When we were in high school, we used to indoor rock climb together at the recreation center. I knew this was something his girlfriend probably wouldn't be into, so I got to his apartment early in the morning. Luckily she wasn't there. I told him to hurry up and get dressed before bringing him over to the car and showing him the new climbing gear inside, followed by an enthusiastic, happy birthday. I then told him I planned to head up to the cliffs so we could have an adventure, just him and myself. He smiled and said, sounds great. And then my heart sank as he pulled out his phone and started texting his girlfriend about the trip. Turns out that she actually loved rock climbing and spelunking. Within five minutes, she was in the back seat of my car making out with him as I drove us to the cliffs. Within an hour, the three of us were tethered together and climbing the sheer rock face in the warm afternoon sun, the wind howling in my ears and the robust avian wildlife soaring overhead. For a few moments, I forgot all about my friend and his annoying girlfriend, until I heard the distinct snap of a metal piton as it broke off inside the wall. This was followed by the sudden tug of the combined weight of two people on my harness as a second piton snapped. My friend and his girlfriend swung like a pendulum below me as I tried desperately to maintain my position against the wall. My whole body shook with terror and my heart raced as the thought of falling to my death cemented itself into my mind. I heard shouting from below, but the words were indistinct. I pressed the radio button on my harness and asked my friend if they were both okay. As he radioed back, I could hardly make out his words over the angry shrieks of his girlfriend. She had cut her head against the rocks when they swung, and she was bleeding quite a bit. I could only make out bits and pieces of what she was yelling, but it amounted to me being an idiot and buying cheap climbing gear. Before he clicked off the radio button, I could hear him agree with her. This was followed by something along the lines of worst birthday present ever. He must have realized he had forgot to let go of the button 
because he was back on the radio a moment later trying to apologize. I realized then that I had truly lost my best friend to his girlfriend. I unclipped the radio from my harness and threw it as far as I could. Today, I cut off communication with my best friend. I then pulled my multi-tool from my belt and I cut their tether, releasing them from myself and allowing them to fall. The shock and disbelief immediately apparent in both their eyes. Today, I severed ties with my best friend. It's over. I honestly think that this was for the best. Get out of me! Oh, hey, you're back. Wow. Oops, my bad. I thought this video would be longer. Uh, you know what? We're just gonna cut the video here. I'll see you around. Oops. <laughs>